Hi! Um, so, um, welcome to a new video. Today I thought that we would... Um, this is a bit awkward <laughs> to be like this. Um, today I thought that we would um, look at my favorite me made outfits. Um, so outfits that I made 100% myself, but I have one I have one shirt that's not me made <laughs> in this pile of clothes that's lying here and also like pantyhose um, and underwear obviously but we're not gonna look at my underwear so and I also have my sheep coffee cup today my sheep not my not like inexpensive but <laughs> uh, like the the little sheep here because this weekend uh, here in Sweden we have um, a thing that's called Fårfestikil, which is uh, translated to English, it's sheep party uh, in Kiel, and Kiel is, Kiel is a city. And um, I bought this last year <laughs> at that festival party thing. It's all about sheep and wool and um, yeah, everything to do with sheep. <laughs> so it's a it's a party, you know. You like my fireplace? <laughs> I thought that uh, it was it was a bit boring with just a TV there, and I have to be here because uh, over there, where I usually am, it's too bright right now. So yeah, we're here. We've never seen this before in my video, I think. So this is my coffin of wool. It's filled with yarn, actually, to the brim. Um, and this is my latest addition of uh, shelves. So it's a stringhylla, it's called in Swedish. Um, and uh, the purpose of it was the main idea to get any. I, I received it from my, from my father, he had it in his workroom. So uh, the point of it <laughs> was being able to store more books. But yeah, you see there's yarn as well. So, yeah, and uh, there's a, a wood, uh, what do you say, wood log that I can uh, uh, use my axe on. Uh, and then uh, one uh, avocado tree. That's actually our smallest one, I think. The smallest tree. No, it's the second smallest. Yeah. So, And this, uh, this is our TV space and also here's more yarn and um, a plant as well that's passion fruit I think so yeah that's a bit of <laughs> a tour in this corner this is my craft cabinet I have all my sewing stuff and things that I inherited from my grandmother here so I have her folk costume uh, cap here that she uh, used so it's really pretty. It's really small though, because she has a small head. So I don't think it will fit me, actually, which is sad. But I will still have it here. And also this bag that her mother made for her and that I received um, for my ball when I graduated high school. So my, my grandmother's mother made this for her. Uh, she weaved it and it's actually a bit of gold here, which I think was very exclusive uh, for that period. So I often use it with um, when I go to parties um, because I love it and it's really, it's really, uh, it's a good size. <laughs> it's your phone, which was not the purpose <laughs> for when it was made. And has some fabric as well that I inherited from my grandmother she's very uh, generous in giving away stuff so yeah that's nice but we are here to talk about clothes that I made so I'm thinking it's really weird this okay so I'm thinking that I will show you kind of like I think it's maybe between five and ten outfits that I wear uh, that I wear most of the time actually so and talk a bit about the materials and uh, why I like it. So yeah, let's start with the one I'm wearing. So actually this is 
kind of my, kind of like my my standard outfit because when I work at the yarn store we have to have the door open so it gets really cold so you have to wear uh, like a sweater which is nice because yeah I work in a yarn store so yeah I hope you can see everything but I have orange tights which I like uh, and this is a black linen dress that I made and it looks like this it's uh, really simple it's like a standard dress um, with pleats in the waist and I always add a belt because without it I, I just feel like it's it's missing something so yeah I always add a belt and this I bought at a, a second hand store it's uh, leather and it's a really nice color, I think. I actually have like three dresses in this kind of style. I have one that's um, that's kind of exactly like this one. Um, and then I got one that's a wrap dress. But I can't wear it as a wrap dress because the... Um, uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's fit fitting is all wrong, so uh, it gapes, <laughs> which is not nice and I don't want to um, I'm not comfortable in showing too much of my boobs in like a low cut thing so yeah I don't know I have to ask my friend if she can help me with like rearranging that part but I often use it as uh, the skirt part uh, on my outfit so I have that and then uh, a sweater on top and uh, the sweater is knit in uh, Donegal tweed and I, I made it, I don't know, maybe it gotta be four years or three years ago and I worn it so much. It's my most worn knitted sweater that I made ever. Um, it's it's uh, not very thick. It's very good to have indoors because it, it doesn't get too hot. And um, yeah, I like the style of it. I like the length. And I like the, uh, yeah, the style of it, and it's uh, it's good length in the arms, and I like the neckline, and it's got a little detail. Maybe it's hard to see here, but it got this um, sweater sh sw sweatshirt thing here, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, uh, the the pattern is called something. I will pop it on the screen somewhere because I don't remember right now. So I usually wear this a lot and I, I will show a few different sweatshirts that I usually wear with a black dress or a black skirt. So, so this is uh, exactly the same pattern and the same yarn uh, but a different color from the one I showed you uh, before. And this is a bit shorter uh, in the hemline but it's, it's alright. I like it anyways. Um, yeah, and it's a bit shorter in the sleeves as well, so it's kind of like a spring sweater. Uh, it's really good now when it's cold, but it's not freezing cold, so I can wear this at work as well. So it's really nice. But uh, yeah, I really like it. So the next sweater is uh, this one that I uh, made a few years ago, and this is one of my favorite sweaters as well. It's um, it's knit in two strands, uh, and one strand of Donegal tweed, which is the other two I really love, tweed yarn, <laughs> and uh, one mohair, so it's, I can show you up close, it's really fussy, um, if you can see, yeah, and it, it's a beautiful tweed yarn because it's yellow and it has dots of colors, so it's like purple, uh, orange, bright green, red, yeah, all kinds of colors and I really love it because it's um, it's the perfect size and it's the perfect length and it's a bit longer in the sleeves so uh, this is a warmer sweater so I can wear this at, uh, I could wear this through all the, of, um, all of winter in the store when we had to have uh, an open door and it was really freezing <laughs> in, inside, uh, I'm sorry. Um, and I can wear this. I could wear this uh, anyway, so that's really nice. It's very warm. <laughs> uh, 
uh, yeah, but I call this the my golden snitch sweater because it's yeah, it's a golden snitch color, I think. Um, yeah, and the pattern is um, from Petit Knit, and it's um, no frills sweater. Yeah, and I made the smallest size. Um, I think yeah, I started with the smallest size. I think yeah, yeah, I made the smallest size, um, and then I cropped it a lot. <laughs> So the next dress is the most recent one I made and I'm also wearing orange tights to this one and I really like the, the color combination. Uh, but this is a, um, it's a, it's a similar style in, in, the, in the dress as my black one because I really enjoy this simple uh, top part and then a fluffy skirt and a bit longer skirt so it's, it's kind of like mid-calf. I would say. Yeah, so this got pockets as well. Uh, every dress that I make, or everything that I make ever, has got pockets, because why not? Uh, I usually, usually, <laughs> I wore this once um, to the store, and then and uh, I wore it with this one. Maybe if I wore it with this one, I would wear, I think I had black tights on, because it's a bit much for me. To have <laughs> nothing black on me so yeah so this is my um, my own pattern uh, cardigan it's kind of vintage inspired um, and I want to make I'm, I'm currently making another one and writing the pattern down actually so yeah I wore it like this I enjoy this color combination quite a lot I it's contrasting colors in the color scheme, so it's pleasing for the eye, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but I, I really like it. It's um, This is actually a, a cotton fabric that I bought, and it was white and blue stripes. But I wanted, I really wanted a, a blue striped pattern that wasn't like printed. I wanted it um, to be woven. Uh, stripes. So I bought it and then colored it myself with the uh, fabric paint, fabric color <laughs> and got this beautiful blue color and I'm really happy about it and it's actually a bit patchy in no yeah it's a bit patchy in the, in some places but I actually don't mind I think it's yeah I think it's beautiful so I like this one and I could also wear uh, a black sweater with this one, I think. I will try it on. <laughs> so I have this no frill sweater. It's a bit too large, I think, actually. I wanted to make... Maybe I will rip it up and uh, uh, make another one. Kind of like the same thing, but a smaller size. Um, so this is double thread of a thin wool yarn. It's like 350 meters, meters on 50 grams, so it's really thin. And I made this using the 3 and 4 millimeter needle. Uh, yeah, and it's the no frill sweater as well. It's a really good basic sweater. But uh, yeah, I can wear this as well and then have my crazy tights as well. <laughs> so yeah, and this is, this is kind of big, but I don't know. I also like it, in a way, to be big. Decisions. Okay, so on to the next item. And uh, um, I also have a non-me-made uh, shirt for this one. Because I can't be bothered to make t-shirts. I think it's really boring. <laughs> so, uh, I have this um, red skirt and it's in linen. And I really love it. And I, I usually wear this more in the summer than in the fall and winter. I don't know why. Um, but I think it's, uh, it, re it looks really good with like a bathing suit underneath as a top. And then this skirt and then this... Sorry. And then this uh, linen jacket over it. I really like this, this combo here. So... 
yeah, and this uh, linen jacket is also something that I made last year. Um, I got some linen fabric from my friend and it was kind of like uh, bleached in the sun. Yeah, here you can see. <laughs> so it's this is the same fabric actually. It was bleached in, uh, in parts of it and parts of it wasn't. So I decided to make um, a thing out of it. <laughs> To make a point and they make um, jackets actually so this got pockets really low actually <laughs> I don't know why but it's really low so yeah I don't use that much but I love this jacket and I and I use this so much in the summer um, like all, all the time so I'm thinking about making another another one this year maybe in some color I don't know but I love it. Yeah, and I love the skirt as well. So this is, in the summer, this is kind of like my everyday outfit. And um, actually, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing the, the orange tights. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't wear that in the summer. So, so this is actually a really uh, summery outfit for me. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, on to the next one, and it's a skirt as well. I have to get going with making my own shirts, because this is not ideal. I don't like the style of it, it looks not as vintagey or witchy as I want to. Um, okay, so this is the second skirt, um, and it's a rusty orange. Yeah, and this is really long, so it goes almost to my feet. It's the longest skirt that I have that I use um, regularly. Some coffee. Hmm. And this is a stone-washed linen that I got at a fabric store. It's really nice. I love the color of it, obviously. Uh, I usually pair it with the black. The black sweater, uh, or I'm uh, using my Bohus Bohus um, sweater. Should I get it? Yeah. Hold on. So usually I wear it with this one. Uh, this is a traditional Swedish sweater. It's called Bohus um, Bohus knitting, and yeah, it goes really well together. I think I'm not putting this on right now because it's warm in my apartment and. This is really warm. <laughs> so I've been wearing this a lot uh, in the yarn store as well this winter because it's really, really warm. It's uh, kind of like, I think it's 50% merino wool in the yarn and 50% angora. Uh, and yeah, this color work is magical, I think. It was really fun to knit as well. I can really recommend. It's really pricey to buy the, the packs, but I got it for my 25th birthday from like all my family. So that was nice of them. Should we go with some pants maybe? Because I have two pants actually that I use regularly. Okay, so I have this. Maybe I should add a belt. I also, uh, this is what I'm saying. I'm always using a belt. It's like I can't have anything on me without a belt. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's the fire that gets so warm in here. <laughs> okay, I know it's a TV fire. So I have this pair of pants. Uh, this is a um, Manchester fabric or corduroy. I don't know um, what you use for, for it. So um, this is a, a Hobbit pair of pants. Oh, I actually mended a backpack um, yesterday because I wanted to... I, I received a backpack that was... Um, no, it's <laughs> commercials. Uh, I received a backpack from my best friend that she um, didn't want and it was slightly broken. So, <laughs> not, not broken, but one of the seams had it um, broken. So I had to redo that and then uh, add the straps and, and and stuff and I did that last night so I'm really pleased that I have a Hobbit backpack and everyone that knows Hobbit fashion knows that they want 
like green blue tones brown tones and uh, uh, leather and corduroy so isn't this isn't this the perfect hobbit backpack i think so and i'm really pleased i'm very happy i was i was actually looking for a backpack in leather for quite a while when she told me that she had one that she didn't use and didn't want so i can have it i'm very happy so it looks like this yeah and it's it feels like brand new but it, obviously it's not and it got some stains at the back but i don't care so i'm very happy these pants are really nice it's uh, a straight leg and uh, pockets of course yeah it's really nice I love them okay the second pair of pants are uh, woolen pants that I made um, a few years ago now uh, these are so warm that I only use them in the winter and then I have I usually have my woolen um, shirt okay so these are my woolen pants that I made uh, for really cold winters <laughs> and the weathers so I usually wear this with my merino shirt which I got from Lindex I think for I don't know three years ago I don't know uh, so these are kind of like my favorite pants because they're so warm and so cozy I don't wear them that often because they are very warm uh, but I like the I really like the uh, pockets in this one so I have a, like a diagonal pocket here and I like the pleats in the back I like the shape of them they are also kind of straight they are um, maybe a bit inward through the uh, like lower down so they aren't like flared but they are straight so I really like them and I usually pair this with because I, I usually wear them when I'm going outside or uh, in the forest or when I'm working and it's really hot, uh, really cold. So I usually pair it with my uh, Icelandic yarn sweater. This is Treista, I think. But it's knit in Let Loopy. It was really warm. So I usually wear that. Or I recently finished a, a sweater in Plata Loopy, which is a an Icelandic wool as well um, and it looks like this so it could easily go with this one as well so I keep warm because that's good I have a skirt left I didn't realize so this is the last one that I'm showing and this is a, a skirt uh, a black linen skirt that I use um, very much and it's yeah it's a it's a regular skirt for me it got pleats in the waistline and um, hoops for belt of course and uh, yeah it goes yeah mid cuff as well as all my skirts and dresses do so i will change uh, the setup and then i will wrap it up i think so that was the outfits that i wear like on an everyday basis I have I think I have kind of a capsule 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 wardrobe but that I don't think of it because I don't do it intentionally it just turns out that way and I think that's that's nice I guess <laughs> because if you if you buy clothes if you make them yourself it's always better for the environment that you use them so yeah I, I have kind of like a, um, an ongoing crisis with my buying new fa fabrics for my clothes um, but um, I'm, I talked to my friends about it and they said that it's it's better that, that I make my own clothes because I um, actually use those more <laughs> uh, than I do with, the, with, the, with clothes that I buy. Yeah, I think I have a kind of like a capsule wardrobe, but I don't think about it. Yeah, I think we, we need to change the way we look at clothes and how we use them. Because 
I think that many people would, would think it's gross that we use the same clothes over and over again, but all these items that I've shown you are made in natural materials. It's either linen or cotton or wool and they don't absorb dirt and um, bad smell or sweat as easily uh, and they are self-cleaning um, especially wool and linen. I just wash them yeah when they need to be washed and all the time. I don't use an item of clothing and then throw it in the washing bin right away. I think it's it's good to be aware of what you're buying and what you're making um, and seeing that it has like a um, impact on the environment but if you make clothes that you love and that you will wear over and over again it's way better than than buying a fast fashion items. I was thinking that my next video in this English series maybe uh, could be um, like a sewing vlog that I make over the entirety of a week to show you how I fit in uh, sewing throughout the week with a more than 100% work week actually right now. So I hope you had a good time uh, with me. This is kind of new to me to to show my body in this way on social media and on YouTube. It's um, kind of nerve-wracking but I think that making my own clothes has also changed my relationship to my body as well because when I was buying fast fashion it, it wasn't like anything fitted me ever. Uh, it was always too tight or um, gapey or too big and not flattering on my body. When I started making my own clothes and making them after my own body and fitting them on me and seeing that they look good on me because I make them for my size uh, and my measurements. Uh, it changed my way of looking at myself which is I think it's it's been a big part in my journey towards self-acceptance and self-loving. I think that's a, a that's a, a, a great thing about sewing and knitting and making your own clothes for your own body because you can because you make them the more flattering for yourself obviously you you wouldn't make a too small a dress for yourself because it's too much work and it's too much time to put in something that won't look good on you so you make an effort I think I make an effort to to make the right size for my fit <clears throat> so yeah that's also good good with sewing and making so thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day and uh, happy sewing and happy knitting bye bye